first started out modifying other companies' recording interfaces, uh, we realized that we could actually improve the sound quality. Internet forums were taking off at the time as well. And so we started offering the services on forums and it just blew up because people would hear the difference when they get their interface back after getting it modified and tell everyone about it. You know, it was a lot of word of mouth in the early days. But all of that ended up being very useful for designing our own products because we got to the point where you could only do so much to someone else's design, whereas if we designed it from the beginning, uh, we had a lot more freedom. So that was part of what compelled us to develop our own product line eventually, from mic preamps to converters, A to D and D to A converters, you know, new iterations of a word clock, all over the place over the last, I guess, almost 11 years now. We are working on a four-channel version of the Autour mic preamp. So we have a preamp called the Autour. It's a two-channel, half-rack mic preamp. The original idea behind it was to have really fast front end on it that captures a lot of detail and nuance and then it gets jammed through an output transformer and you get a little bit of vintage vibe. And so we decided to expand the two-channel version on the auditor into a four-channel with metering on it and two DI inputs, and it's gonna be a full 1U chassis. Just gotta get inventory built and all that kind of stuff before we launch it. We uh, used to have what we called the Sparrow DAC and the Sparrow Mark II ADC, and we just canceled those products about six months ago. Um, because they were just very difficult to build. So Jesus has been working very hard at designing a new DAC. And we're trying kind of different setups, different like op amp gain stages and things to kind of get the best we can out of the different parts. Um, but we're still trying to keep it simple the way our Sparrow was, where it's essentially converter, buffer, out. We generally shoot for that kind of cleaner, more open sound and we've found that the easiest way to get that is just to keep it simple. We're pretty picky when it comes to component choices. So when we're purchasing components and we're deciding what to use, we're pretty stringent about what ends up in our gear. It is these 10 possible parts you can use. Try every combination of it and see which one sounds better and whatnot. And the interesting thing is that you can go all the most expensive caps, all the most expensive op amps. It's likely not gonna be the best sounding version. It's a very boutique approach and it is ultimately about listening tests. Specking everything on our audio precision is very important. However, if it doesn't sound good to us, even if it's specking well, we're not gonna release it. So when we're done building a piece of gear, we actually burn it in overnight, just meaning we power it on for at least one night. Once it's burned in, we then take it over to our audio precision and test it out for specs to make sure it's meeting all of our minimum spec requirements. Once it passes there, then we actually put it in product packaging, you know, put serial numbers on it, all that sort of stuff, and it's ready to actually sell. The analog stuff usually gets a listening test after that, just to make sure that like there's no weird noises that the AP didn't catch or you know, just the kind of the final verification. And so our final test for the analog stuff is always just listening. I've had great experience with Reverb, both personally and through Black Lion Audio. So we did a huge B stock sale through Reverb and moved a bunch of inventory that just had scratches or dings, things that we felt didn't cut it for A stock, but were perfectly functional. So that was a great success, was moving that stuff through Reverb. It was just very simple. It actually gave us access to a new audience and a much wider and broader audience than I think Black Lion has. Selling the stuff through Reverb was a lot easier because essentially it's maintained for you, everything's taken care of. Have the product ready, give some pictures, that sort of thing. And so it took a lot of the trouble off our hands. I mean, we're a company of maybe four or five guys. Whatever help we can get, we're more than happy to take.